Hello? Diddy, wake up. Diddy, wake up, man. I know, right? Diddy, what's up? Over here, man. I don't know if it's a late night or early morning for you, man. It's like in between, man. You know, <laughs> trying to stay up. Not, and I fell asleep. Did you watch any basketball last night? Did you see our Yukon Huskies? Yo, did y'all thing? Woo! Did we? Woo! Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. All right, now, I want to know, do you think they're going to go to the Final Four? What about UConn? I think so. If, if they made it this far. I'm liking it, Diddy. I'm liking it. That's what's up. Well, congratulations to UConn. Hey, American Idol performance for coming home. That was insane. Skylar Gray is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we're bringing that to y'all live April 20th at the Foxwood Casinos. Make sure that y'all come check it out. Now, will it be the same kind of performance that we saw on uh, American Idol, or what are you going to do differently? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's different in the sense that we bring the, the, we bring the band, and, and we run it through all of our hits. So um, We can expect to hear old bad boy hits plus your hits. Are you going to throw some classics in there, too? Without a doubt. Every hit that we ever had. Ooh, that's a lot of records right there. At one time, I had two crates full of bad boy material. It was amazing. That's what's up. That's what's up. We're going to be doing all of the bad boy hits Wednesday, April 20th at Foxwood Casinos. Um, make sure you all get your tickets right now at Ticketmaster.com. Last Train to Paris, great album. You have everybody on there. Trey Songs, Rick Ross, uh, Drake. Justin Timberlake, Grace Jones. Um, you know what I mean? You know, very proud of the album. Um, and we want to thank everybody out there for supporting it. If you ain't got the album, you don't know what you're missing out on. Go get the album. It's a great album, though. And, um, you know, we're going to be doing it live April 20th at now, the Foxwoods Casino. Now, when you put this CD together, does it take one phone call for you to pick up the phone and call like a Chris Brown or a Lil Wayne and say, I need you? What's the process to get all these people on your record? I mean, most of the time, we're just bumping into them. You know what I'm saying? But whoever I call, usually people call me back. And, um, you know, I call them back. <laughs> and so and so you kind of build that 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 relationship up with them over the years. Over the years, you're right. Yeah, yeah I mean, I can't, I can't imagine getting that phone call. Uh, Diddy's on the phone for you? Oh, okay, let me take that. <laughs> let me take that. You're on the top of the Forbes list, dude. You beat Jay-Z. It's all good. That's great. <laughs> Wait a second, you can't be that modest. They said, like, you beat him by, like, 25 million. That's a lot. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know how accurate the numbers are, you know. and um, Is it more than 475 million? Nah, I'm just saying, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, me and Jay Z, we've both been number one on that top on that list, and we've like we flip flop back and forth. But it's better to be number one. Admit it. Yeah, it's always better to be number one. But it's 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 just a blessing also to be spoken of in a positive light as a businessman. You know, now to be honest, I don't I don't have all that money just you know just 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 hanging around and out in the bank account or or just in the basement of the crib. It's they're trying to value your worth, and so if they're saying worth, yeah. companies are worth that much, if I sold them, it's something that I, I, I take pride in. That it's it's amazing. I mean, and let me just say, shout out to Chirac because when I had my party, uh, Diddy, that went first. The Grey Goose hang, hung out, but the Chirac was gone. Yeah, shout out to Chirac. <laughs> Chirac, the smoothest box in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we definitely gotta give them a shout out for for, for the whole list of it all. You are the best promoter ever. How many times has he said he's going to be out at Foxwoods uh, April 20th, Buck? How many times in the time we yeah, talked to him? Yeah, he's good. He's Five good. Five times, he knows he's he? doing. April 20th. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's going to open this show? I'm here when you got, like, is maybe Lloyd. Yeah, Lloyd. Lloyd. Lloyd's going to be on the show. We got Tiger on the show. We got other surprise guests, too. That's going to be a crazy show right there, man, Diddy. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Get your tickets now, man. Whenever we come up to Connecticut, it's always live. You throw a damn good party, Diddy. Yeah, and it, it, this is a combination of the party, you know, a party and a live performance, so you get the best of both worlds. Do you gamble at all? Are you going to go and go into the casino at all? No, nah, I'm going to stay away from the tables, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to definitely be, you know, I'm, I'm going to definitely rip that stage down, though. Um, th- there was also a list for Dancing with the Stars. Um, you're a, you're like a, they would love to have you on Dancing with the Stars. You, they said, Kanye, Chris Brown, and Snoop Dogg. Would you ever go on Dancing with the Stars? I couldn't really see myself doing that, though. It, 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 I ain't gonna lie, whenever I look, Dancing with the Stars is really, really intimidating. Whenever I look at, like, how, how like, how do they really do, do everything that they're doing. You know, I don't really have to want to worry about having to remember all of that while 30 million people are watching me. Yeah, like right. Master P. Poor Master P. He gets, like, raked over the coals every single show. They say he has the lowest scores. Oh, man. But I like the show, though.
The March Source Mag, there was a, an article about kind of, well, you mentioned President Obama and that you wish that he was doing a better job. Did they misquote you, or is that how you really feel? I mean, uh, they, they, they didn't misquote me, and, and, but, but the context of how I said it, you know, I, I think that, you know, people try to just take the, um, you know, the most striking point, which is cool with me. I, you, know, I, I, you know, I voted for him, we voted for him, especially the African-American community, and I, I just feel like he could be doing more for us, you know, mm-hmm. as, as, as a community, just like, you know, relief is sent to other communities and relief is sent to other countries. African-American community also needs some relief, and they help to put them in office. And, um, you know, he's, he represents people of all colors and all creeds, and, and he should also represent the African-American people who, who really need, some people need more help than others. And, you know, we have a higher dropout rate. We have a higher poverty rate higher unemployment rate, and so we need more relief, and that's what I spoke on, and I stand by that. Do you think he'll get reelected? Yeah, I think he'll get reelected. I think he should get reelected. I think he's doing a, you know, a great job, but it's, it's also important to, um, you know, not, not be silent when people need help, though. That's not trying to take a jab at him or hurt him or say anything negative about him. It's just speaking up the way, you know, you know he promised change and he promised things would be different, and, and I, and I want to make sure that I see that. Do you see politics in your future, Diddy? You're a very popular man. No, nah, no, nah, I don't really see that. You know what I'm saying? I, it's, 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 to be honest, it's too much politics. It's too much bullshit with it. <laughs> You're right about that. I mean, Donald <laughs> Trump is saying that he would like to run for president. Yeah, well, that's more power to him. You know? <laughs> that to it. It's definitely, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not knocking the president. I'm, it's hard to be the president. It is. You know what? I mean, and it's a, t- a tough time right now, Diddy. I couldn't even imagine, you know what I'm saying? And, and, but I feel, I feel my comments. Can, can do anything, can't do anything but help. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying in any way to, to hurt my brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, I worry that, you know, the, the crisis that's going on in the world might, might hurt him. That's, that's, that's what I worry about. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you doing more TV? I heard that you might be doing Hawaii Five-0, and you, you might be working out with, like, the Navy SEALs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did Hawaii Five-0. I did that, and, um, and that should be coming out soon. Nice. Yeah. And you're number six on the Rolling Stone list for tweeters. Uh, Questlove is in front of you. Kanye's in front of you. You gotta step it up, dude. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> no, Ro- Ro- Rolling Stone be hating on me anyway. Really? I ain't really feeling Rolling Stone. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Ro- 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 Rolling Stone has turned into like a, a a tabloid magazine. I ain't really got no respect for Rolling Stone. It ain't just- <laughs> <laughs> That's like the original music magazine. Rolling Stone ain't really what it used to be. And I, I said it, and they really ain't they really ain't a factor like that. In defense of that, they did give Kanye West the number one album of the year last year. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not saying that they the worst, but they ain't what they used to be. So you know, and and they ain't really got love for me. So I, why? You know. That's crazy. Why do you think that is, though? Dude? Yeah, why? what is about, what's that about? I don't know, but you know, some I'm tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had to say something. You finally had to break the peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a beef now. now. I'm not. I'm not feeling them this week, though. Okay, this now, week. Now, now, Diddy, be, why don't you? Have you ever thought about putting out your own magazine? You got. You got the clothing line. You got the cologne. Yeah. You got the music. A magazine could be next for you, Diddy. Nah, nah, nah. That's the problem. Ain't nobody buying magazines. Rolling Stones in the wrong business. Ooh. Ooh they need to step on, step up their online presence again. The online, yeah. You're right. You know what I use my Rolling Stone for? Uh oh. To burn my firewood. <laughs> I'm stopping my subscription this week, Diddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Diddy on the phone right now. He's coming to the casino to perform live. You kill me, Diddy. show is going to be crazy. Start speaking positively about me. I'm going to tell everybody stop buying that bull. Diddy, you're crazy. (laughs) Well, we're going to see you April 20th, and we're going to ask you then how you feel about Rolling Stone. They might be nice to you that week. Nah, they don't already already got on my best. It's a done deal. Hey, Cassie's album, Electro Love, is it coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to come out. She up in there finishing it up now. I'm, okay. She's still going to call it Electro Love, though. But, um, you know, it's, she's finishing up now, and, and, and it's definitely hot. We love that you're going to show love to CT because we, we don't see you all the time. Yeah, that's what's up. We, so we, soon. We got to get him up. We want to have a white a backyard barbecue, a white affair with Diddy. We're going to work on that sometime in the future. All right. Steve, I hope everybody at Rolling Stones having a good day. I ain't feeling some of the people over there today, and that's what it is. <laughs> hey, Diddy, do me a favor. Introduce your new song with Trey Songs. Hey, yo, check this out. It's your boy Diddy representing that Dirty Money crew. And here's your love featuring Trey Songs. Let's get it. Got it, baby. Diddy, thanks for talking to us. All right, thanks.